Hey everybody, this is Ted with RT in the shop with one of our test razors. Uh, this one in particular we use to identify some weak points on a stock unit and create some killer products uh, that'll help push the limits of the performance and durability uh, in our suspension designs, cage designs, and a host of other products that we uh, make and, and test on this unit in particular. Uh, let me show you around this thing and we'll check it out. Let's start with the front. Uh, we have a, a custom bumper here. It's, it's more of an MX style. Uh, very easy to install. Uh, simple attachment points and very durable. Uh, a couple light mounts here. We have some rigid LEDs mounted onto. Um, the bumper ties in without having to remove all your plastics up front. So that's one real big benefit to the installation time on this bumper. It's quick and easy. Behind the bumper, we have our suspension. Uh, this is our long travel kit for the uh, XP1000. We also do it for the XP Turbo. The long travel kit uses these tubular style upper lower A-arms to extend this front track width by three and a half inches per side and also moves the front uh, wheelbase forward by two inches. In the long travel kit, of course, we have upgrades like the Dalrin inner pivot bushings, um, the outer attachment points and our spindle adapters we're all using COM14 rod ends uh, you know, from FK. The extended tie rods are also included in that kit to accommodate that bigger track width. The other part of the razor that we really want to identify or we've identified as a weak point is the chassis pivot points. So uh, gusseting that's on this uh, basically strengthens those pivot points for the A-arms. Um, this one in particular has our full A-arm chassis gusset bracket, but we also do pivot washers, uh, weld-in chrome molly uh, attachment points that are there to repair or just strengthen a factory pivot point for the A-arm. So what we have on here is we have our uh, factory replacement Fox coilovers. Um, these ones are the 2.5 RC2 coilovers. Uh, really good on performance, help us uh, maximize our long travel system uh, and handle the load of the bigger wheel and tire. So to accommodate the three and a half inch track width increase per side, we use Summers Brothers axle shafts uh, that utilize the factory CV inner and outer joints uh, with that longer shaft. So uh, those have been rock solid for us. So coming around to the side of the razor, we have our method beadlock wheels that are holding on our extremely durable Yokohama Geolander MT tires. And if you look up this way, we have our cage. Uh, this is a current cage that we have listed on our site uh, for the XP1000. Includes mounts for the light bar. This one has one of the prototype mounts on it, but you know those are the kind of things that we want your feedback on if it's something that you're interested in. So reach out to us on Facebook or or message us on our on our website and uh, you know after you see it at the show or check it out in person. Then we have our Nerf bars back here again this is another design that we kind of like to play with a little bit because of you know differences that people run into they need a more tighter uh, Nerf bar. So coming out around to the rear of our RT Pro Razor we have our bed delete kit which really opens everything up so I can show you the rest of the cool suspension package of that long travel system. The rear trailing arm, again, scoots this rear axle back two inches and helps widen our track width by three and a half inches per side. Uh, the rear radius rods are, are very heavy duty, longer to accommodate the long travel system. Um, using heavy duty chrome molly rod ends, our inner pivot gusset uh, is coupled in with the rear bumper on this unit. Again, one of those design uh, parts that we're playing with the design with. Uh, Trinity Racing Stage 5 exhaust, uh, unique metal products, high flow intake, uh, keeps everything nice, breathing good and, and cool. Uh, Fox 
factory series racing shocks. The pack racing rear sway bar is more custom for this vehicle. Again, one of those products that we kind of like to expand our horizons with a little bit and push the limits of our design and performance. So most of the RT products are designed and, and built construction-wise to handle uh, race application. The biggest benefit to RT and the, the products that we design is the performance factor, the durability, the strength, uh, that safety factor that comes when you're really pushing the limits of your machine and you want to go off-road um, for that purpose. Um, basically, those stock in stock form, the components that we upgrade uh, are prone to breakage and that can be a bad day and also maybe a trip to the hospital. You never know. And because this Razor is fully equipped as a race vehicle, uh, we had to upgrade the interior parts. Twisted Stitch got us some seats, curl heavy duty race harnesses, uh, keep us in the vehicle and safe, and then the cage protects us and our melons uh, from damage. So the, the cage is again fully race gusseted, pro molly tubing. Uh, we make this cage currently for the XP1000 and 1000, or XP Turbo. In the cockpit of our race razor, we have a steering quickener, full gusset quickener mount, the quick release steering wheel, uh, heavy duty shifter handle, everything that we need to feel safe and get in control of this beast of a machine. Thanks for watching this overview of our RT Pro Razor XP1000. Um, again, if there's anything on here that you have questions about, reach out to us on the comments on this video and Facebook and our website. We'll see what we can do to help you out with some more killer RT gear.